my name is Kei Jiang Kim from uh, Information Experience Design MA course at Royal Court of Arts. And then today I'm going to present about confabulated architecture, uh, which is con the outcome from the head space in the space program at our course. Uh, before I started my presentation, actually there is a slight modification of the title in described as speculative architecture, but actually I changed the confabulated architecture. Uh, the reason why I changed the uh, title is uh, I think it's better to say up, uh, explain about the what is confabulation first. Uh, the confabulation word is uh, used <coughs> in the only 1900s German neuroscientists applied it as a technical term to explain about how mental uh, patients to describe and then say about first memory records. And then the confabulation contains the three keywords, which is uh, first report and memory. And but I think uh, it's not just only for the memory patients. Nowadays, um, we also quite cover all of producing memory um, and our first memory report on occasion. And also, I suppose that um, more recently, the technology development have affected to the way of sharing and uh, storing information on the online. And uh, there is also another word that artificial memory is, uh, comes from Nicholas Carr's uh, book, The Shallow, and then he also mentioned that as we uh, people increasingly use online media, we are accustom ourselves to create artificial memory from the information we access by online <coughs> and by social media. And it becomes, I think, our own personal memory. And if I say about, in other words, um, listen to current phenomena, which is called as collaborative media. And according to Ruren and Reima, people are not only consume the information, but now we also can produce and even design content with different forms of digital media, including social networks. So it becomes, and then the software cultures now trick our collective imagination. So now people can experience space in various ways, not just in a physical way. Now we can actually experience and then get more information several ways. Taking Kenya Hara's information architecture, for example, uh, we now build the information from what we have aggregated from stimuli, like various stimuli, like sight, touch, and taste, smell, and hearing. So now the things like memory is also kind of part of what consists of our knowledge and another part of our knowledge is contained in our current perception of what we are seeing of our own bodies and the people and things around us. So now I think that we think that what we know or what we believe is influenced by the way of seeing and the way of seeing is linked to the, the online search or the our online behavior and then it's also shaped our conceptually. So these backgrounds gave me some kind of a research question of our project. So my main research question of this project was what impact does the online research have for informing physical museum experiences? So main thing is I wanted to develop how people construct meanings from the interaction and interaction with the online information. So if we think about the museum, if you can imagine that how a museum looks like in if we focus on museum architecture. So personally, quite simple. Uh, many people think that museum is quite linked to the, some kind of a original and some um, uh, typical museum shape. But you know that there are various way of some museum architecture in the world, and also not just in a physical way. We can also access the online. Uh, information of the museum through uh, web page or Google or Twitter and Facebook and Google Street View or some image and Wikipedia. So turn to Sir Johnson's museum. Sir Johnson, because this was a collaboration work with the Sir Johnson's museum and then Sir Johnson was an English architect in the 18th century 
Gallery, who designed the Bank of England. And his house in Lincoln's Inn Field uh, has opened to the public as a museum, having the older artworks and architecture artifacts. And then I wanted to get some um, so some view of from the online information, like check the Facebook and then Google and Twitter, uh, some social media. And then I found that it would be good to take a text uh, from the Google League to uh, explore about my research. And then I have collected all the text from the Google League and then asked the people who had never been to the Sardin's Museum to draw uh, some imaginary uh, drawing and then um, this kind of thing is from the in the process of research and then it's interesting it is, even though they never visited this museum but some main feature like of the museum like the lit by candlelight which is every month happened or some queuing in front of the museum and some even like artifacts or interior objects in the museum is quite linked to the uh, main museum, uh, Sardin's Museum. And then I was trying to combine this drawing into 3D architecture, which is compared to the real Sardin's Museum, and printed it into 3D objects <coughs> in a, some tangible experience, giving one some kind of tangible experience. So it's not just the one 3D printing model, this is a fragmenting model based on the drawings. So it can be assembled in different ways, um, which is quite similar to social network in environments in which data are translated and consumed in an ongoing process. So the research outcome configured architecture is intended to represent current phenomena as a physical representation of our minds and interrogate visitors' museum experience <coughs> by online information. And the objects can, can that which I just showed before, we can see and touch in reality and which also gives us opportunity to start to think about what kind of some implication of social media which as we already lots of uh, online information to social media. So I think social media is now creating a change of museum access and digital experience, both virtual and physical. But however, we also have to think about that uh, we are delivered into meditative experience as we have a tendency to use web-based networks to, to search information. And this informs personal memory mixed with illusion and estimates from online search, like the outcome of my architecture. Actually, I just brought the architect some more things so you can actually handling and then uh, making a puzzle from my own set. Thanks, and then this is my